Welcome to our section, How to Work with Polynomials. In this video, we're going to learn how to add, subtract, and multiply polynomials. Let's start. First of all, what is a polynomial? A polynomial looks like this. As you can see here, we have x squared and x and then no x. And I need to add this guy with this guy. The first thing you need to do is that you can only group like terms. For example, 4x squared is a like term with 5x squared. Also, 5x is a line term with negative 9x. And finally, negative 3 is a like term with negative 10. I can only add the ones that look alike. So let's go ahead and do it. Before that, I can see here that I have a plus. That means that I need to add all of these guys. Remember, positive times a negative is a negative. But positive times a positive is just a positive. Therefore, this positive here will not affect anything in my expression. So let's go ahead and start having fun. 4x squared plus 5x squared is 9x squared. 5x minus 9x is negative 4x. Also, negative 3 minus 10 is negative 13. I should get something that looks like this. And I'm just going to see it. 4x plus 5x squared is 9x squared. As you can see here, I don't do anything with the exponents. I leave them exactly the same. Anytime you add or subtract a polynomial, nothing gets affected. 5x minus 9x is actually negative 4x. Remember, you keep the negative sign because 9x is greater than 5x. Finally, negative 3 and negative 10 I add because they have equal signs. And my answer is negative 13. Awesome. Let's do another one. Now, what happens here? I have another two polynomials, but now I have a negative. The first thing you need to do is take care of your signs. So you need to go ahead and distribute negative here, the negative here, and the negative here. Just imagine this is a negative one here that is invisible. So when you do that, you're going to get negative times a positive is a negative, which is this guy. Negative times negative is a positive, and negative times negative is another positive. Now I can go ahead and group the like terms. Very important. The majority of the students that make mistakes on polynomials is because they never distribute the sign properly. So make sure you don't make that mistake, okay? Now that I have here, I'm going to go ahead and just group the like terms. This baby and this baby can go together. So that's going to be 16x cubed. Okay, then let's see who else I can add. I usually going to look for the one that comes after. So after 3, the next exponent is going to be the square. Here I can only see that the only one that I have is this one. Remember, this negative belongs to the 10. So here I have to put negative 10x squared. And don't worry about it because the answer is going to be a little bit more clear than my, <laughs> my little things here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add negative 5x with x. That's going to give me negative 4x. And then let's see who else. That's it. The only one that I have left over is negative 3. So my final answer is going to look like this. Awesome. As you can see here, I only mix group. Um, like terms, this one with this one. I took care of my signs first, then I add them, and this is my answer. Let's see how I multiply polynomials. Now here, this is a little bit different. As you can see here, I need to multiply this term with this term, then this term with this other term, this term with this term, and then this term with this term. So let's do it. Uh, sometimes they call this a FOIL method. I just like to go ahead and just think it like that. This one with this one, this one with this one, this one with this one, and then this one with this one. I usually just do the lines because it's, it's an easier way just to remember how to do it. So let's see what we get. Let's do it. 4x times 3x is 12x squared. Yes. Here, remember, you're adding the exponents because they have the same base. So when you multiply, they do change. Then I have 4x times 1, that's just 4x. And negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Now, I need to go ahead and group the like terms. The only like terms that I have here are the ones in the middle, which is 4x and 9x. 
When I add them, that's going to give me negative 9x. Finally, that's it. This is my final answer. Let's do another one. Now here, I have 3x squared times negative 2x squared. Look how important it is to know the rules. When I multiply 3x squared times negative 2x squared, my answer is negative 6 to the 4th. The reason is that I need to add the exponents. Let's do another one. 3x times 1 is 3x squared. Negative 1 times negative 2x squared is positive 2x squared. And finally, negative 1 times 1 is equals to negative 1. One student told me once that she remembers how to foil because she remains with, she remem she remains, oh, she remembers <laughs> the eye brown and then a smile on the bottom. So that was a cute way to remember. Finally, I can go ahead and only add the like terms. In this case, 3x squared and 2x squared. And bingo, I get my final answer. Awesome. Let's do one more. Here, it's a little bit different. So the first thing I need to do is to take care of the parentheses. So let's do it. Remember, when you multiply, you need to do x times x is going to be x squared. Then I have x times negative 4 is equals to negative 4. Now, this x is actually negative because the sign belongs to her. So I go 2x times 2x squared is 2x, uh, negative 2x cubed. And then negative times positive is negative 5x. Finally, let's go ahead and group our like terms. And what do I have? Negative 4x and negative 5x. I cannot add anything else. My final answer is going to look like this. Very careful. Anytime you do polynomials, they need to go in descending order. That means that you put the one with the highest exponent in the front. And then you go 3, 2, 1, and so on. I hope you learn a lot. And I thank so much for